San Diego, California at CrossFit Invictus. Martin, who's on the show? All right, we're gonna meet up with Austin Keen, go skimboarding, and then we're gonna come down to Invictus to watch Danny Speed. Speed! Speed! Smash 22.1. And they are starting in exactly Three, two, one, go! All right, so this is gonna take a minute. Let's roll the footage and we'll come back. to this boss, Danny Spiegel. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? She is a three-time CrossFit Games competitor with her best finish being in 2020 at 13th place. She was named one of CrossFit's biggest crushes by the morning chalk up for Valentine's Day. Last year, she moved cross country from Florida to San Diego, California, where we were able to catch up with her at CrossFit Invictus. So this one was a fun one. I think there were good movements for like the beginning of the open. I had no thoughts during that whole entire thing. Thank God I had people yelling at me to breathe because I think I was holding my breath for like a long time. Oh, okay. So yeah. If people yell, breathe, that actually works. Yeah. <laughs> I came from, you know, a small box in Orlando and while it was it was family and I still consider them family, I just needed people who had the same goals and it was kind of just funny ending up in San Diego. I just kind of stumbled upon this place and kind of forgot that Invictus was even here came to visit and the same month moved out here. It's gonna be a year this month on the 28th, so we're just at, almost at that year anniversary. What's the weirdest thing you have ever arrived in your DMs? So there is this guy who, he's had a two year long conversation with himself. I have never replied. He'd send really weird stuff, so I would just like block him. But then he'd create a new account. So I was like, all right, well I just, I'm never gonna get rid of him, so I'm just gonna like leave him on red. Thinking that if I left him on red, he would stop coming into my DMs. But it's been two years now, and it's just two years of him just like talking to himself and replying to like all of my stuff. And he says some weird, weird, weird stuff. <laughs> It's like cringy, like my toes are clenched right now. <laughs> Dude, you can get two, let's go. Come on, keep going, you got time for another one. Get up, go. Come on, Danny, let's go. Keep moving, good work. Uh, she went quick. I had a goal of 12 rounds and I got 12 plus two, so super happy with that. 12 plus two. Woo! Don't, don't let that air before the end of this. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going out on Monday. Every journey has a first step. Today, the entire CrossFit community will take the same one. Our destinations will be different. Some will be done after three weeks. Some will prove yep. they have what it takes to move on. Nope. All right, we're here at the slopes. They're about to announce 22.2. You've already know what the workout is, but we're gonna see our reactions in in, in in real time, but in post. Do you think that they'll show it actually announce 22.1 before they announce 22.2? 22.1. Tell us what it is, Tia. Tia, Tia. 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 In 15 minutes, complete as many rounds and reps as possible. Oh, three wall walks. 12 dumbbell snatches and 15 box jump overs. Ooh. Let the games begin. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Right. That's the workout. We heard it here first. Knowing what you know now, I would say that this, this climate and altitude is not conducive to a good score. So, what do you say you transition us to something better? Let's go. We're in 
in San Diego, California, or we're actually a little bit north of there, but welcome to a sunnier climate. Yeah, what a better climate this yeah, is. Yeah, this is so much better. really appreciate you getting us here, Hughes. Yeah, All right. nice transition, what you so know we're, about. So we're here with Austin Keene. He's gonna show us how to skimboard. It's gonna be pretty exciting. <laughs> we just made it to Aliso Beach. Aliso Beach, waiting on Austin Keene. He's gonna come and show us how to do a thing or two with uh, with a skimboard. Skimboard. I feel like I'm gonna skim my chest hair off, you know? I already shaved. About to get ready. Had an early flight, a little sleep. Woo! I'm ready. Uh, this is a legend, Austin Keene. You've probably seen him. Yeah, What's up, brother? How you doing? Hey, man. Good to see you again. How you been? Yeah, this is my beautiful mother uh -huh. from Bluffton, South Carolina. It's a nice, beautiful day. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Look at those. I just feel good wearing these. You know, it just makes me feel like I'm in Turks and Caicos, pulling into a barrel on the reef, and then falling underwater as I'm swimming with the dolphins. Just to catch you up. Yeah, get me up to speed. This is Austin's first car. He drove across the country. Got here was broke, sold it. Eight years later, saw it on Craigslist, bought it from the guy he sold it to, restored it. That's awesome! <laughs> Sick, what year is this? 75. 1975. Yeah, the, point, yeah. the proper way to take off your shirt, Mars. Do you want to give us like a show us how it's done and then we... we totally. Can... Are you good for your regular or buttery? Buttery. Oh, your buttery. Sick. <laughs> so yeah, you basically want to hold the board just like uh, I say nine and five. We want to stay away from the nine and nine to fives, except when you're holding the skin board, okay? <laughs> what you want to do is the one step allows you to run with the board, place it at the same speed that you're running, and then walk right onto it. That's good. Oh, that's just kind of like reaching for it. The idea is like placing it in front of you and not so much throwing it. I'm putting it right in front of me. Oh, it's so smooth. Beautiful. I'm one stepping it, you know? When you're running, you do this little arm swing. Yeah. And that keeps you in the same motion as your feet. That was like a dance. That was my favorite part so far. Good job, buddy! Oh! You had it. Man, you look powerful when you're in that stance. <laughs> you look like a silver I feel surfer. powerful when I'm in that stance, baby! That's, that's good. You kind of want to get it all in that one. Oh. He makes it look so I'm easy! Like, like, think of it slow. Boom, boom, one step. Reaching for it. Get that one step. How long have you been doing this? Started skimming around like 12 or something. Okay. So 18 years. Skimming was kind of something where I grew up in Georgia, where there's not a lot of waves. It was just like, just something fun to do. And then yeah. all of a sudden I met these two guys that showed me VHS tape of these, what these guys were doing in Laguna Beach. And I was like, oh my God, I want to do that. Yeah. Oh, he is. Damn. He just did a kick flip or shove it, I guess. Is that called a shove, shove it? it shove it. You look so cool. Baywatch, Baywatch, Baywatch. We're feeling it. We're feeling it. Here go, hey! Oh. Oh. What happened? I just split the webbing of my toe. Dude, thanks so much, Josh. Thank Good to see you, brother. Yeah, see you, man. Good luck, man. Yeah, take it easy. We'll stay in touch. Uh, All well, right, that you know, sucks. An, an unfortunate mishap. Uh, he split the webbing of his toe, but uh. All right, let's he... go get sweaty. Yeah, you ready to do this? Do you know who I want to see? Danny Speed and Julie. And Julie. All right, off to Invictus, my friend. Sorry about Austin's toe. If you guys like what you see on the channel, if you like following our journey, please leave a comment below, subscribe. It really helps us out. Speaking of which, 
If you leave a comment below, leave your Instagram handle so it's easy to find you, and you're gonna win a pair of new blender shades. It might be these, it might be those, it might be one other pair, but they're coming your way. And we had a guy from the last show that won, and then here's his uh, Instagram handle uh, slash name right here. Yeah, there it is. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. He even left his Instagram handle so I can get him easily. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's go find Julie. Julie! He's right here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just made it to Invictus and we got Julie! Dude, tell me, you jumping in first or what? I'm jumping in first. If there's anything that I know, this guy loves getting inverted. Here's a photo. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. <laughs> so, so, tell me what, how you feel about this? Uh, I feel good, you know? Yeah. I think I got my swagger yeah. back. I love the open, man. It's always a good time. And did you just get a new pair of shoes? I did yeah. get a new pair of shoes. Shout out to Whit. Thanks for the shoes. Thanks, Whit. Alright, I right, want to update you on our boy Austin Keen. Doesn't need stitches. He's good to go. He just needs like a couple weeks till he's back in service. Thanks for having us, Austin. Check this out. It's my phone. But look what I do. I type in go on. Boom. First thing that pops up. You're telling me that they got a protocol? The first they're the official sponsor of the CrossFit Games. The first thing that pulls up, Noble CrossFit Open official mobilization protocols by GoWad. Get us limber, Heber. First thing up there, 22.1 with Justin Medeiros. Go oh, a little pre-wad by Jason Hopper. So let's ah. go. All right, so the other day on social media, Justin Medeiros said, I've got 61 hours on GoWad. Can I get 100 before the CrossFit Games? And I was like, funny enough, Justin, I have 61. I was 20 minutes behind him. But I think I'm going to get him. I think I got him. Oh, this is called the wall hinge, apparently. Open up those shoulders for the wall walks. Just yep. over here stacking minutes, Justin. Coming for you, bro. <laughs> What's up, homie? Hi, man. <sighs> bro. That's all you got? Yeah. Oh man. Why? What's going on? I'm he has not, a deviated I septum. So I still feel like oh. I feel like I don't have full. Suck. That was good. And this is like I too lack the breathing airways that this man does, and I've been calling him and getting a lot of advice about how's the healing process. Is it worth the it? The healing process sucked, and the splints in my nose yeah, was the worst it. part. I felt for like nine months it got better and better oh. and better and better. So like he gave me the first review on the nose thing and he's like, Jenny doesn't really know if it was worth it. And I was like, that's <laughs> not what I wanted to hear. I felt like I had to tell you the truth. You know? oh, yeah. And it was suck. He was at the open announcement last night. Yeah, How was it? I went to the open announcement. The mood in there was just really cool. Everyone was super stoked to be there. Um, I think Noah came out so hot and didn't realize the wait, altitude. Wait, Noah? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I love you, Noah. When you're not mouth breathing that fast because you just are the altitude, you lose your glucose pretty fast. And I think he just like, you could see him just kind of run out of sugar. But man, he came out so hot and he hung on great. I mean, he did a great job in the workout. Quite the opposite of what Noah did. He went from uh, sea level up to altitude. We brought it from altitude down to the sea level. Yeah. So it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, we got, oh, you got like a goal or Top 10%, I want to beat my wife. She went today, she's at home putting Star to bed. It's about to go down, it's about to go down, it's about to go down, it's about to go down. I think I got my swagger back. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Oh. We didn't even think the win on this. I, I don't know. It's a three. I don't know, man. This might be a Heber thing. A Heber thing? I don't know, maybe Mars, you got that new nose. You got that new engine. Yeah, new engine. yeah. Formula One over here, you know? Yep. Oh, they treat you. Formula on. Optimization. All right, I can't wait. I love watching Julian get into the suck. One of my favorites. Oh. And, like there's been Why times. I'm so of, nervous. Because it's, it's so I'm serious. So nervous. You better bring the heat, man. Oh. You're setting the bar for us to beat it. Do you think he gets more than eight rounds? Maybe. I mean, this is kind of a. If it wasn't for the wall locks, I would say yeah. We'll see if he can hold his shirt together though. Almost wall lock. <laughs> Can I really been addicted to you? All of my attention I've been giving to you. Caught up in it looks good. One. one minute, 26 seconds. Julian, you went out first. Yeah, let's just let's just talk rounds one through three. How'd that go? Pretty fast. Uh, it was pretty fast. It was great. I was like a I was a speed demon. Yeah, there. you look very composed. I was, I was actually, right? yeah, in the yeah. shoes. Yeah, I was like was color coordinated, orange. top to bottom. I know that you're dangerous, I'm addicted to you. I might rent the Lambo and go drive it like it's oh, my guy's got a un Untied shoelace right now. Stop and tie your shoe is the question. I'd take it off. <laughs> <laughs> just one shoe in it? Yeah. At the halfway mark, Julian slows down, ties his shoe. He just finished up uh, round five. Oh, this is the mystery of the whole thing. We're like, do you stop to tie the shoe or do you just let it go? Uh, maybe a mishap happens. Who knows? I don't know. I, it was at that point. Okay. You Here's know what? Thing. Here's the thing. 
lock him down, Jules. Lock him down. I lock him down and then I'm like a double bagger. I didn't even know that exists. Double bagger. I was sipping more for two years straight to the face. Champagne belly bubble still won't go away. Then we get the last three minutes of workout. Time to ramp it up. What happens here, Julian? I got tired. This water buffalo got tired. And then the last round, this. the last round, I was goes like, up oh. on the wall, comes down, goes Water up for the second one, and then he failed the rip. And I turned to Heath, and he was going, and I was like, is he somersaulting down? That doesn't count, bro. Like, I'm top heavy. I'm like, not proportion. I don't yeah, look good mean, upside down. That would mean that your weight was at the you bottom. You would think, but I like, I don't know. If I you were boggled. bottom heavy, like, that was Danny Spiegel. That yeah. would happen to her. I know, you would you, think. You were doing a physics out there. That is going until you can't go anymore, bro. That is I feel like I had to throw up. You what? I feel like I have to throw up. I feel like I have to pop. <laughs> this, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite jewel, right here. Hey. That was hard. He got eight rounds and a one wall walk. And he had, I think, two or three fails. That's a, sh that's a terrible rep to fail. And like your splits, bro. Rush. 112, 109, 113, 112, 113, 114, 115. That's when you got tired. Yeah, chest got a little heavy. Yeah. 121, 122, 121, 125. And then you had a minute to get back. Yeah. So, oh. Richard, how do you have that much engine? Bro, he can, come out hot. he can just come out hot and stay hot. Any last minute tips? Your arches and your quads are going to light up. You just have to like accept that back. Arches and quads. Yeah. Never needed them. We're good. Hey, what uh, are you shooting for? I'm shooting for eight rounds plus two to beat Jules. I'm the bar to beat. I'm the goal. I'm going to start out bored. You board. got to play bored. You know, it's just like spike ball. You okay. Man, man. I see the strategy. Man. Play bored. Rounds one through three. For you me, went slow. Yeah, I was so like, slow. I was like, play it board. Yeah, he, I was like, man, he looks like he needs some entertainment. Somebody get this guy I, a Walkman. But Ooh. like after the first round, I finished in like 93, 95 seconds, and I was like, oh, too fast. Still, slow it down. I oh. liked having the buffer because I had like almost, almost like 20 reps of buffer on you, and I was like, if I could just hold on to this. <laughs> to 12 dumbbell snatches. Yeah. And she's like, you have three more. And I was like, nah, girl. Well, three more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She wanted you to do 15. She, she thought I was supposed times. to do 15 dumbbell snatches. Oh. I was like, you're wrong. We yeah. got 12. Let me move on. A few times she messed him up on the reps. I was like, oh, it's kind of. Yeah, I heard, him, I heard him chit chatting. I was like, yeah, yeah, distraction. Yeah. Delay. <laughs> Don't Delay. worry. Delay. Delay. I'm still calm, cool, collected. <laughs> Margin took out a really big lead, held on to it. I thought I was gonna catch him up. Oh, yeah. Waiting for my Disney moment, didn't come. I'll say this though, I executed my goals and my plan perfectly. All the boys crushed it. They all crushed it. Marson with his new nose really impressed me. Nothing like taking two weeks off, you know? It's sitting on the couch. One game win streak. Slow and control is the way to go. Yeah, it's slow and composed. I thought Marzen was going to blow up. He held on. I was catching him. It wasn't enough. He had too big of a lead. I just Mike. wanted to beat Craig Ritchie, to be honest. You know, like I wanted to beat you, but then like I was like, I yeah, saw Craig, Craig score. I think I beat Craig. What did he get? I don't know. Okay. So we got uh, eight full rounds plus three reps. I got Craig Ritchie. Oh! oh! Craig got, got me by two reps. I, got, I failed too. So. I got 11 snatches in the ninth round. So I didn't finish nine rounds. I was just shy of it. You were just shy of nine by like four reps? Four reps shy. All let's, right, let's go get some tacos. Let's go get some tacos and talk about whoop whoop. Chorizo. We got a whoop. What? Those are whoop tacos. Whoop whoop. Wow. Hold on. Down to the whoop gang. Okay. So for that workout, we're eating delicious tacos. So we're just going to taco through it. Get it? Taco about it. All right, that was a 9.4 <laughs> strain. It was 173 max heart rate with 155 average heart rate. What about you? Mine was much slower because I was bored. 6.1 strain, max heart rate, 
of uh, 142, but let's talk about sleep, son. I only slept five hours last night, but somehow like, was highly recovered a little bit. My sleep was 439. I gotta do some more burpees. That's what that means. All right, I've been in the red and yellow almost every day since I had surgery and then came out here and just dropped dong on these boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's use that. But shout out to the Butter Gang. Shout out to the Butter Gang. All right, we're gonna go to the most strained right now and his name is James Grady. Grady! He's been doing CrossFit training activities and he's actually cycling too. Slide in the DMs and we're gonna send you a year's subscription to go on. Oh, even better. Wow. That's a good that's a good subscription there right there. That concludes the Whoop and the Butter Gang. We, we are. are. So we're here at breakfast with Danny Speak Speak. This is one of the top requested pancake spots that we've had on the show. Really? Yeah, Never 100%. Heard of it. You've been here before, Danny? Oh, yeah. This your go to? I've had everything that we've ordered on the menu. Oh. It's quite the plate, my man. <laughs> Ooh, if there's any indication. Let's stop talking. Cue the music. Let's go. Hey. It's pretty good. That's not a number. Yeah. Oh, that's all they agree. That's the lemon. Yeah. I think lemon enhances everything. 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. Slide with me if you feel like. All right, 8.8, .8, 8, and a 7. OK. That's what it is. Oh, you're not ready for this. It's the Elvis Presley French toast, and like this was his combo that he was like famous for, like bacon, banana, and peanut butter. So they put it in oh, French Elvis toast. Oh, Elvis himself. Yeah, dude. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought they just called it the Presley. Where'd you get that fact from, VH1? No. No, just. This is a very well known fact about really? Elvis Presley. Yeah, 100%. Mm, that's so good. How good is that? How good is that? That's the best thing ever. <laughs> All right? That's the best thing ever. Bro, Elvis. Told you. Yeah. A 10. Oh, uh, Bro, that's a 10. That's a 9. 9.9.5. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. I don't think a 10 exists. I got bacon, I got all the flavors. Don't act like you're not. I know. Yeah, fresh. Like, I would say like 8, 7. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Boo hiss. I'm offended you didn't like it as yeah. much as I like it. You know, I have my own taste buds. And I'm going to be I honest, I think we waited too long on these. I think these are going to be too dry. This guy's really dry, no good. So I think for the Oreo, I gotta go right to the middle here. They've got the cream in the center. This I actually, yeah. That's good. I think he like looked at it. I'm not a big fan of chocolate. They didn't say that's like 88. Actually, I'm gonna put that at 89, this is 88. That's like a 75. Wow. So that, that's really good. That's good. All right, Jewel takes the cake. Woo! I know it. Jewel's Danny. Yeah. All right, that's the end of the show today. Thanks for having us out, Danny Steve. You're yeah, so speak, welcome. Speak, speak, speak. Yeah, it was cool to watch you throw it down, 22.1. We're excited to watch you do the rest of your season and probably Thanks. catch you at the Thanks. same eyes in the game. Yeah, what movement are you not wanting to see in the open? Running. Okay, running. no running. <laughs> yeah, I think you're I think right. I, yeah, I think You're in the clear. <laughs> Go. All right. Go. All right. Bye. Guys, I really feel left out of the shade. Ooh, what you got there? Keeper's glasses. That's a good yeah. color. That's she, a good color. She was like, I like your shades. I was like, they're yours. Yeah. They're yours. Yeah. A little secret, no, if you official. really like Keeper's glasses, just ask me for them. Yeah, sex. Always. <laughs> There's always. Oh, yours oh. are nice too. Yeah, discontinue yeah. unfortunately, but oh. they look good. I was going to ask you for yours too. Oh, he's the last. He's like the last of the last. Yeah, I'm not classically handsome, but these really work for me, you know?